Hey friends, Doug Addison here. It's August 23rd, 2018. You believe it? Time is flying right by and God's uh, preparing something new right now. And I want to help you right now, some important things to help you prepare for what is coming because we're just a few weeks away from an important time of year. It's uh, this year in September, it's the Jewish holidays called Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur. It's called the Days of Awe. It's 10 days. It fluctuates based on the Jewish calendar. Between This year, it's September 9th through the 19th. Now, historically, this is a time when the heavens are open a little bit more because God is revealing and releasing your destiny for the coming year. I tell people this all the time. We're no, one, we're no longer under the Jewish law, uh, and God operates on all kinds of calendars, you, you know, he, he will, but he still operates on the Jewish calendar. I don't do anything to celebrate these holidays except prepare and listen because this is a time when God is releasing more about your destiny. He's opening things up. We're going to have a time of dreaming and uh, I want to prepare you for it. So I released a prophetic word a little bit ago to say, Get some things done that you may not have done. If God called you to do something, you know, clean up as much as you can from the pre previous season for to prepare you what is coming. Now, here's the thing. Don't be legalistic about this. Don't be uh, disappointed, you know, if you don't have a di visitation or something didn't happen right on those dates. I used to be that way. Then I understood you know, God's outside of time. He knows all this and he knows what you need and he's uh, He's speaking to you already. And so uh, some people are like, oh, I, you know, I thought an angel was going to come. I wanted Jesus to come in. Believe me, uh, Jesus doesn't walk in my room. I actually have to come to him. We're in a season right now where visitations can happen, but they're, they're more in a, a spiritual form uh, and you can go into, uh, into the places uh, in the heavenly realms. And so don't be disappointed if you're, you know, if, if it's not happening the way you think, because God will often seal things away. Now I went back, checked, uh, I checked my journal because I journal every day for a number of years. And before I started really taking time over the last few years, I've taken time to prepare and listen to the Lord during the days of awe. But even prior to that, the Lord said, go back and look at your journal. You'll see that I was already speaking to you. And I just didn't even realize it. It may not have been exact days, but it was the season. We're moving into the season of the days of awe, where God's presence, His awesomeness is going to be revealed. And so Job 33, 16 is an interesting principle. Now you got to read it in the New King James to get the best understanding of this. And it's uh, it's... 33, Job 33, 14 through 17, but uh, the context is dreams and visions. God may speak in one way or another in a dream, uh, yet man does not perceive it because in a dream, in a vision of the night, verse 16, uh, he says he opens the ears of men and seals their instruction. So sometimes revelation will come sealed. I had it last night at between, uh, I think it was... Uh, Oh, 3.30 and 4.30 a.m. I had awakened. I was awake for an hour. I knew God was doing something. I said, Lord, give me a dream. It would really help me. Just give me a dream, you know. And I went back to sleep. I had a dream, but the dream was sealed. And I knew I dreamed the solution. But I understand Job 33.16. He opens the ears and seals our instructions. And I woke up thankful. said, thank you, God. I'm about to get a breakthrough today. Now, that happened at uh, at 4.30 this morning when I got up and I got up with anticipation and it's not like it like got revealed all of a sudden but I tell you the things that are sealed are now being revealed and it, this kind of, you know this might explain deja vu you ever walk into a place or you're sitting there and suddenly you feel like you've been there before God is probably it, it's not a new age deja vu thing God has probably prepared you and given you a Job 33, 16 experience. And I get it all the time. In fact, when I train on dreams, I find there's a lot of deja vu dreamers out there. In other words, there's a lot of Job 33 dreamers out there 
who dream, it gets concealed, and then suddenly you walk it out and you feel like you've been there before. It's because God never does anything without first revealing it to the prophets or to you who has the prophetic in you. You have the Spirit of the Lord in you. So here's what you can do right now to prepare for the days of awe that's coming. Take communion and pray and decree some Bible verses. I, I take communion every day. Sometimes, depending on what I'm going through, I'll go two, three times. Why not? I'm going to be a hog about it, you know. It's the body of Christ. It's an amazing thing. But uh, today, I've taken communion this morning with the Lord. I, I decree some Bible verses. That means you pray them. My favorite right now, Daniel 2.22. He reveals deep and hidden things. He knows what lies in darkness and light dwells in him. So I ask God that the mysteries and the revelation be revealed. My next verse I'm doing right now, you can do it if too if you want, Revelation 4, 1. After this I looked and before me was a door standing open in heaven and a voice I first heard speaking to me that sounded like a trumpet said, come up here and I'm going to show you what is going to take place. And this is what I said earlier. You know, the Lord doesn't usually come into your house necessarily, but he can bring you into the heavenly realms in some way, in a vision, in a dream, whatever. He can bring you up here. We need to rise above right now. So every day, I ask the Lord to give me a revelation for one doorway that's above my own understanding, above all my circumstances. Read it, decree it. And my final one I'm doing right now, well, I'm doing a bunch, but these are the three that I'm focusing on is Colossians 1.26. The mystery for which was hidden from ages and from generations, but has now been revealed to his saints. God is revealing mysteries. And this is a time. So I take communion. I pray these verses. This is how you can prepare. Get your own verses or go back and check out my uh, Spirit Connection podcast uh, or my webcast from July and for August, where I talk about verses you could decree in both of those. In fact, if you look at my blog, I've been talking about this. Get you those verses. Open the heavens. These are the three right now as we're moving towards the days of awe. I'm focusing on each day. And you'll want to. Here's another way to prepare. You will want to enter into the Lord's rest. And, uh, you know, all that means is don't get caught up in being rushed and and hurried around, uh, you'll want to step into the season right now. Don't be taken back by everything you're seeing around you, weather patterns and all the political stuff and uh, watch for what the Lord's doing. So I just released a new prophetic word today on my blog, DougAddison.com. That's going to help you. Uh, it's how to break free from limitations. And many people have been placed on lockdown like House arrest is what I've been calling it. It's like having an ankle bracelet on. You can't really do a lot of, uh, you know, you can't do a lot when you're under house arrest. And it could be your previous season, could have been people in your life, could have been the Lord who put you on house arrest. I was, com I'm coming out of a four year house of rest. But if you read this, and uh, some of the other prophetic words have been releasing this month, you'll see how you can turn your house arrest into a house of rest. I have limited, I've entered into the Lord's rest for the first time, uh, I think in my 59 years. I, I feel like I'm stepping into a place of peace that I've never had before. It doesn't mean you don't do anything. It's just that you can get a lot more done once you understand these things. So no matter what your situation looks like, difficult times right now are being misunderstood that this is God's preparation. He's getting you ready for what is coming. So check out that prophetic word. Also, we're going to see some financial breakthroughs come. And he's the Lord's going to give strategies for finances. And that's why I've released on, uh, on my website as well, on my podcast, uh, a new one, actually, episode 63, how to get a financial healing and breakthrough with myself and Stephen De Silva. It's, it's a good one. And Stephen uh, has been one of the uh, people who have helped and, and uh, been part of the financial planning with Bethel Church of Reading. His wife, Donna, has been on our podcast before because she's been part of developing the Sozo ministry. So in other words, this, this guy carries the gold. He carries good understanding. And so you'll want to check out episode 63 uh, to get ready uh, and um, get ready for what's coming. 
And God's going to release to you some revelation that you need at the right time. And I'm trying to do these things. Those two are free. Uh, and this one that I'm uh, going to tell you about uh, is a replay of my webinar. It's not free, but it's not expensive either. In fact, it's, it's as cheaper than a cup of coffee a day. My goodness, it's only $37 to get the replay of my online training that I just did with attorney Elizabeth Nixon. And the two of us did a three hour training. It's normally two. We went for it, did a three hour, three one hour sessions called Gateway to Your Destiny, Getting Results in the Courts of Heaven. Now, Elizabeth Nixon is a spirit filled practicing attorney who understands the courts of heaven and the court of law. So she completes in this webinar, that's why I want to, I, I, in the online training, I tell you, I want you to get it because she gives you a petition that you, that she created that will indeed change your life. And it, and, uh, that's why we took this extra hour for it's normally the two hours, but it's three right now, but it's the replays available where we give you, uh, the PDF form, the, the file, uh, the forms that you can file it, uh, you have access to it, but it's only going to be available through August 31st. So grab hold of that right now. And while you're there at my website, dougaddison.com, you can also get the back to back to school sale that's going on 25% all my online training. Download my free ebook, Four Keys That Change Your Life. This is a message the Lord has given me, and He's told me to get this out to everyone. And you'll be extended an offer if you download the book, read the book. My goodness, uh, it, it's it's um, Four Keys That Changed My Life, and it's not like, uh, like it's a leftover message, you know. It's something that I wrote specifically based on what the Lord was saying for this season. And then you'll get an offer for three audios at our cost. And for three audios, you'll need to, you can only do this through the ebook. The Lord told me, don't, don't put it out on my store, these three messages that I recorded and how to learn to discern, how to flip the spiritual app. There's several things that are key for right now. And I, you can't get these messages out of my store because... I want you to do it through the ebook. Get the message of the ebook, the four keys in you. Then I have an offer for four audio or three audios that I wrote and recorded, especially for this, for four dollars and ninety nine cents for all three. That's our cost basically, and you just pay more than that at uh, you know at a, a hamburger stand or something. But grab hold of it, and then uh, I also uh, want to let you know that we're looking for someone if you're. Uh, looking for a job or this is something I actually we just don't want to just offer this to people who are looking for a job. We want to make sure that people who want to join our team in Light Connection uh, is we're a, um, we are a nonprofit organization. We have an office in Santa Maria, California, but 95% of our, of our team is uh, virtual. Uh, and in fact, I'm, I live three hours from the office. I, I only go there once a year, but we have, I'm a, I say that we're stay at home. Uh, you know, we're stay at home ministry. I'm a stay at home prophet and I still get out. But anyway, I'm, I'm just saying you could join our team. We're looking for an online marketing manager. And it, this is a work from home management position that oversees our online digital marketing teams. Um, it provide direction and leadership and support. For our communications, our web teams. Now, this is not graphic design. It's nothing like that. You need to be able to write, not design. You need to be able to write sales and landing pages. You need to be able to do, if you don't know what copy is, then you might not have this job because you need to write copy for our landing pages and emails and understand email and internet marketing uh, you know, the whole concept of it. Now, I believe Jesus marketed. In fact, I trade people all the time the difference between soul-based marketing and spirit-based. And we, uh, you know, we believe that the Lord is moving right now on the internet. If you feel called to do it, I felt this. I felt that there was someone, we posted the job a few times and it's back up again because there's someone who's called to this. You have a calling from the Lord. And you haven't answered yet. I felt that. And it's time now. Take a look at DougAddison.com forward slash jobs. At least look at what we offer, our, our core values. And if you know someone, maybe it's not you, but you can get it to someone that you know. It's not for just a job 
We're not looking for a web uh, de uh, designer. We're not looking for a webmaster. It's someone who understands these things I just explained. Also, consider partnering with us, dougaddison.com forward slash give. You could uh, also text on your iPhone or your cell phone uh, the word L-O-V-E to 45888. You can give on your mobile device or go to dougaddison.com forward slash give and, and become a partner. Uh, consider becoming a partner and a part of our mentoring program that I do online. I'm not, I'm not able to do personal one-on-one -on -one anymore, but I do group types of things now. And one of them is with the with our partners. I pray every day for our partners who support us. And I also uh, release a partner mentoring video and I have a special partner portal. It's an online uh, two places. One is on our website. It's a private membership place on our website to, to get some training and videos and things like that. And then the other one is a Facebook group with a partner uh, a partner coaches that we have that help you and I'm in there as well. Anyway, uh, I'm excited for what God's doing. Get ready. You'll want to grab hold of some of these messages that I'm talking about here. More than I told you were free than the ones that we're charging for, but we do have a sale on things that I want to really encourage you right now. God's doing something new and you'll want to get ready for it. All right. Hope you have a great weekend. God bless you.